Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Football Manager 2013. Um, today video we are going to have the first match against our reserve team which is gonna be nice hopefully and eventually we will have a few more things happening maybe uh, we will hire a few players we will definitely have our staff members um, coming to or, or arriving to the team and we will be hopefully at the end of the friendly matches I think we can probably go around nearby Santa Clara and maybe do the friendly match against Santa Clara so let's start the game it's gonna be important that we win the reserve team but more importantly than that is to see if the tactics that I created are really going to work with our reserve team important thing about this is going to be the match I'm not going to record the entire match I mean I'm going to record the entire match but I'm going to fast forward it it's very important to fast forward it because I mean it's gonna take a little bit long I like to see the best moments so I can appreciate a little bit more the tactics if there's something wrong or, or not of course this is a game it's uh, sometimes the, 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 the engine is not the best the best um, tool to understand how the players um, or how the tactic is working but anyways I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna fast forward I will eventually so show a little bit of the best moments of the game so I'm going to show like the goals and um, I'm not also I'm not gonna party the goals I mean I'm not gonna go all party like screaming and stuff like that no I'm gonna say yay it was a goal uh, I'm gonna be a little bit more calm I think because that's most the way I am so let's go to the match this is a little bit slow yeah my comp a little bit slow but I think it can handle it so I would want the instructions from my assistant manager but he didn't give me any so anyways I'm, I'm not gonna take care of that I don't care um, normally in here I ask my uh, assistant manager to do that to to give these oh I'm um, I forgot something yeah the game is in Portuguese I have to change it um, I was getting it strange I was saying uh, how, how how is this happening <laughs> I forgot completely. Sometimes I I change it to Portuguese. For me, it's easier to uh, play the game in Portuguese. Um, but to make the videos in English, it's better to have it in English, of course. Um, I was feeling a little bit uh, strange. To I, I was I was seeing everything so, you know, easy. Like okay, normally when I record the videos, I have to think about each. Uh, part of the, the um, of the interface of the game interface and what it means in Portuguese and how it what really is equivalent in English and you know it's and now I was looking at it and I was like okay but this is all Portuguese of course it was Portuguese um, so I'm sorry for that I may have to cut that a little bit uh, it doesn't matter anyways so normally I ask my manager, my assistant manager, to ha take care of the overall team talk uh, and I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> I normally do that uh, sometimes only when he doesn't say anything, when he says he has nothing to say normally I choose what to say. I don't do that because I think it's um, for the players sometimes it's not the best way. So we can see another thing very important in before this match is that all the players have really low uh, condition so physical condition is really low that's one of the reasons why I want to work a little bit more and training the condition so let's start the game and we will see you guys soon
and that's a goal and it was a really nice play um nice uh, it was uh, really nice at the middle of the the first half let's fast forward a little bit And that's the second goal and was a nice play again. So I can start to see that the players are um, not that bad in these tactic. I think I did create. Uh, I think I created a nice tactic uh, for this team. Um, there's uh, something I'm I'm still in doubt is about the the style of marking. If I should use the the zone marking or man marking. Um, or maybe a mixture of them both and I'm really tempted right now because I saw a few mistakes um, I don't know if it's good still keeping the way it is or if I should go to the mixed version I mean zone marking, uh, marking I think it's not the best one having in mind that this is a very fast um, a forward and attacking tactic so um, we will see how the second half is gonna happen what's gonna happen there so um, once again I asked my assistant and it was nice because everyone is like delighted <laughs> for the, 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 the talking I had I will have eventually to, s to replace a few or substitute a few players um, but let's just see how everything's gonna happen in the second half So now I'm going to make a few uh, substitutions. Um, I am going to take out Andrew Souza. He's uh, tired, we can see that. I'm going to replace him with Carlos Mota. He's the only player I can have that could make that position. Um, also going to change uh, my striker with uh, Elder and I'm going to change uh, Nuno Oliveira with uh, Hugo Rego um, I have a few other uh, replacements I could make I, I think I'm gonna make them all, all once you know um, so I'm gonna replace my goalkeeper I'm also gonna replace one defender so the defender I'm thinking about replacing right now should be Milton but Tavarins is more tired so I'm gonna replace him and also I'm gonna add uh, Antonio Paz Freira to the position of Tom Miguel so I don't have any more options to any other of these op or any other positions so I should look on the market for another defensive uh, center defensive player also on the wings you know the left and right defend defenders and definitely another number 10 although Andrew Souza could make that position but if Peixoto get goes out we have no other option and also for the position of Evandro although that the position of Evandro we have Ugurego he can do the both positions so we can make the right and left uh, attacking midfielder positions anyways let's keep the game And that's another goal. So we are scoring goals. That's nice. And another goal. Just, I mean, three minutes away, you know, in three minutes we scored two goals. So nice.
and that's the end of the game so we I think my tactic was good I mean we played nicely we had a few uh, we scored four goals against our reserve team and our reserve team is weaker than ours so um, that's nice uh, although I don't know if we have that bad players I mean uh, I think we have uh, one or two players in the reserve team that I'm I'm willing to um, I'm willing to to look at and maybe bring to the team because we will need more players uh, definitely but mostly what I enjoyed was the the way the team played I I I did enjoy it. we were the midfield I saw a domination on the midfield and that's nice because we have three players there and each one does his own role so I think it was okay but we this is not yet a, an an important uh, match I mean this is against our reserves and we of course we had to win I mean if we did not win then the tactic was uh, really bad and was not even worth it anyways so okay about the news is all about the game I don't care about that I want to see my reserve team and I want to see if I have good players yes I do Danny is an interesting player I want him in my team I saw him playing he's not a bad player so I'm going to set a transfer status to uh, I don't want him to be loaned so he's an odd prospect for the future and that's it and he's going to go to the main team because I think he's a nice player now good news we have uh, yes this is our, these are good news we have uh, man, we have one right defender Thiago Rezendis and he may be an option so he goes to the sh senior squad because we only have Nello and Nello is you see Rezendes has a more potential he has potential to be a little bit better than Nello so I'm gonna have him so I don't have to hire anyone for that position so I may have to hire someone for the left defender position and when it comes to strikers, we have two strikers, Forbes and uh, Elder Ruda. But in the reserve team, we also have Hadi. And although he's not very good, he's not that bad either. So I'm going to add him to the seniors team also. And when it comes to goalkeepers, I did enjoy Vitor, although he, he got four goals from my team. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to. I'm not gonna have him, he's gonna keep on the reserve team, so nicely done, we are going to keep on forward now 26 days, that's a lot of time for the this other friendly match so okay so these are good and bad news, it's good news because I found a, a defender for the right position uh, for yeah, a right defender uh, on my reserve team that's good the bad g bad news is that if I didn't have found that player then I would have no other players for that position and I don't like that I would prefer to have a player for that th yeah you know for th th those positions so what I'm gonna do right now is so right now I'm, I'm sorry I was I was reading a little bit what this means so this is about keep keep players you know key figures of um, the teams from the second division central um, and so this the Zé Francisco is uh, it seems like an important player to Nogueirense I'm not gonna say yes or no I don't know <laughs> right now good things and bad things well I'm going to probably try to okay so Antonio Vaz is is available for a loan. I don't want that. So he's not available anyways. So what? Why is happening there? I oh, he's learning. I'm sorry. He's learning from someone. <laughs> okay. Um, I thought it was loan. <laughs> okay. So right now, all I need for my team because I'm seeing quality in here I'm seeing quality I'm seeing quality in my team all I need 
is one more option for Lino. Okay, so I'm going to search. Normally I should have my staff members doing that. Wait, but I think let me go see my staff uh, training and you know, um, uh, the reports, the scouting reports, because maybe we have a player. Yes, we have. He's 30, 32 years old, and he seems like a nice player. So this would be the main player. But I want to evolve Lino. He's, he's already 23 years old, and he's not a bad player, but he needs to play more. As you can see, he's only one star, but he could be at three and a half stars. And if I hire this other player that was uh, in the scouting list that my scout chief sent me, then probably this one would be the first team player, although he's a little bit older, but he does seem like a nice player. The bad thing is that he's wanted by six other teams and I should probably try something I, I'm probably not gonna be able to hire him to sign him yeah I have no money available for him so I will only go in here and try to add him as a transfer so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get Anderson and Thiago but maybe I will maybe I won't in case I don't get it, so my stuff, um, my scout uh, report wasn't the best one. So I'm gonna go. Um, I'm going to filter and and search for a player, and I'm just going to search by a position that he can play. So I want him to be a defender left, and once again. Oh, we have this young player and I'm not even sure if he's good or not so I'm gonna get a, a report I'm not gonna get okay because I don't have anyone else I have to ask uh, Bruno Gil I haven't got any other stuff I'm, I'm waiting for my staff members to get to the team yeah of course so all these other players are in um, in teams and but they are all yeah, they are old, old players. Yeah. So this is the youngest one, and I'm not sure sure if he's a good player or not. But let's hope he's okay, and maybe I can hire him. I don't know. I'm hoping to get my okay. So we yes, 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 and we are going to have another a new coach. He's called uh, Medeiros, and I have no idea what he was good at anymore. Except him. He's now part of my stuff member teams or team members or whatever you want to call it and Zazi is also coming and Zazi is important for me so Bruno Gil tells me that Felipe is not worth signing and if you look at this player and if you want to highlight the um let me see I want him playing I want him to play for um defensive roles I don't know maybe like this mm, yeah you can see I think these are important positions uh at I'm sorry uh, important attributes for the position and you can see he's not very good yes yeah, so I'm not gonna hire him I'm gonna remove from the shortlist I don't want this player so um, at least I'm, I'm I know my one of the things I know is that my um, scout chief is not very good so because he's not very good I know he's not gonna tell me the right potential of the player so he may be better than we think but maybe he's not as bad as we think I don't know so we get now Joaquin Philippe uh, he's okay he's not a very good scout either but 
it's better than having only one chief scout that is not very good either so okay Felipe which is the new scout member is telling me that I should hire the 14 year old central defender Joanzinho why would I even hire a 14 year old player I mean okay he's not a bad player at all you can see that he has aggression but and he has nice physical attributes but well he may well it could bring the experience that I need I don't need to have him for more than one year so let me try to sign him and the wage is not that bad so if I had him as a um, a free transfer maybe I will yeah I will bring him up I may want him more than having Thiago so let's just hope everything is going to work out it's not it's, it's a nice recommendation from from my scout so that defensive player that old defensive player 40 years old he still may be a good option he can bring experience or a lot of experience to my team mainly to the defensive situation because we are talking about marking marking zones or whatever I, my tactic is is working with the marking the man you know so oh haha <laughs> now that is nice we are going to hire Anderson I if I was now this is the good part of this so if if it was me trying to give Anderson the the signing contract it would be impossible I would not be able to do that but my director football director or director of football he was able to do that so yes I want Anderson he's a very good he's young and he's a very good uh, defensive player so by having that let me just do something I have to come I have to come to here to the transfer targets and I want to remove John Zingo I don't need him anymore uh, although he would bring experience and he would be a lot cheaper than Anderson but Anderson is going to be my main team so now I want to have Thiago and if that happens we will have a we if if that happens maybe we will have a, a little chance a little opportunity to make something nice um, I need to see something I forgot which is really important I want because there's for the next friendly game or match there's like 22 days that's a long long time I wanna do something before that I wanna play another team before that so it doesn't matter if it's a big team or a small team Santa Clara is a big team having in mind that the priori is very really small and Santa Clara is in the in the in the higher division so that's that is um, for me I think we should definitely try to have another friendly match also I'm going to do something else um, I'm going to and that is important um, I'm going to uh, I completely forget why I completely forgot why I was going to say <laughs> um, it's already 32 minutes of this gameplay so before I finish this video today um, because we already have a bid for uh, Tavarines which is not that good I don't want to sell my great player but what I was saying is that maybe we are gonna have a chance to fight for the title and I'm going to have to mark another uh, match a friendly match I'm going to have to appoint another friendly match and also I have to see the training all these I want to do before I finish this video so let's be fast try to fast this thing a little bit so just even before that I want to see the contract I got so it's going to be for yeah it's for one season for Anderson I think it's good enough for one season um, we don't have enough money to keep this player if things go wrong I mean if the ship sails away from our goal then we cannot keep this player so that's okay one year it's okay uh, I would prefer to have him for a longer time but it's not possible 
So this is I don't care. Oh, oh no, I do care about this because Machico is another team and is 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 having is making a bid for Natividad, which is also s a player we are trying to hire. So yeah. Um, so Union de Madeira is uh, has made an offer for Pedro Tavares, and I know the offer is uh, zero. So I know they are not paying. Yeah, they are not paying anything for Pedro Tavares, but I want that player. I mean, if they want to take that player away, so they're gonna have to pay. So I want, and I want a nice price for Tavares because I know he's a very good. He's a good player for this division. And he's probably a good player for the next division. Otherwise, the other team was w would not uh, bid for the player. So I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask 50k. 50k for the player. So I know it's pretty much impossible. They're not gonna pay me that, but I have to try it out. So I have to negotiate. Okay. So this is nicely done. So what is left is let's see the training. Because we are already in the fitness weakness, uh, fit fitness week. I'm sorry, um, the first fi fitness week, and we have the second fitness week. And I would like to m to have a match probably in here in the first um, week of tactics, and I would like to have a match around here. So, oh uh, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna put tactics and then the second one I'm gonna go with team cohesion and then we go all the way with tactics until everything is fine uh, having that in mind, okay I still have to go to individ individual because we have a new defensive player so he's going to yeah work with his strength um, and now let's go to the match uh, where is it I have to see I think it's in here in square uh, fixtures schedule so um, I would like to have a ma yeah I'm going to a ranger friendly. So I forgot I have to go to the training again. I'm sorry. So I want a match between 5 to 11 between 5 the 5th day of the next month and the 11th. Okay, so Let's go to the schedule, arrange a friendly. So it's between here and here. So it's between these days. And I'm gonna probably go to seven. I'm gonna this is available, so I'm going to I wanna play home so I can get a little bit more money. Not much, but we all know that. And we are going to play I wanna play well with nearby teams, yeah, it's easier. It's just to, you know, to have a little bit more friendly match. I think it's going to be important. And I'm going to play against. I mean, Unión Micalense is. A, I think it's a nice team, but I'm not going to play between. I'm not going to play these ones because I have to pay money. I think that's the money I have to pay. Let me see. Yeah. So I pay 500 500 euros, and I may have 1.5k in revenue from this friendly. So um, it may not be a bad option. Yeah, I'm gonna go with no. But I already have. Yeah, I'm not gonna go that way because I already have an, a game with Union Micalense. I w it wouldn't be. It would be stupid to have two. So I'm gonna go with Santiago. Santiago is a different. Uh, y you can see. Yeah, I don't have any game with Santiago. So Santiago. I'm gonna play a match against Santiago. Then I play against Santa Clara and then Union Micalense. Um. Okay. So everyone, I'm. Um, let's just see if they are going to accept it. Hopefully, of course they accept it. We, we are paying them 500 euros, and they are they are a smaller. They are even smaller than we are because they are right now in no division. I mean, they have a division, but it's not on the game. Um, okay. So uh, that is all for today we had our first match we won the first match which is very very good uh, although it was with our reserve team it doesn't matter but it was a match we won the tactic worked I think it worked but um, it's still on testing we could say that the tactic is on better testing another thing we will have to see in the next episodes is a second tactic because it's important we we can have until uh, I think we can have three tactics at the same time, uh, training at the same time. 
although I do not want to mix my players so I will probably only focus on this one but I should always have a second tactic uh, available if this one does not work um, or for away games or stronger teams anyways so that's something I have to see in the next videos also the friendly matches hopefully they're going to happen eventually yeah um, maybe I will even arrange another friendly before Santiago because uh, between the in in the middle of the physical training so maybe next week we in, in the next week we will have a friendly match and uh, before I finish because we already all we already a little bit uh, we already in nearby the the, the limit of time uh, we will probably uh, let me see in here I have to see something in here before we will probably still need to hire a player or two maybe I don't know but I'm really glad with Anderson he's, he's the best central defense defender we have but that's also gonna be a bad a bad situation for Milton so uh, it's okay I think we already have a lot of options in this position we will eventually need another number 10 and I'm afraid we will not be able to find any other number 10 uh, with the same quality of, of John Peixoto if he gets out of the team and I mean I don't want to lose him he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's an important key for this team and if I lose him I don't know if I can find any other player as good as he is. I mean, he's really. I mean, uh, you can say Andrew Souza is better. I mean, he's better. He has a lot more potential, Andrew Souza. I think Andrew Souza is a very good player, but um, John Pesotto, I think it's even better for the number 10. But I already. I'm already losing a lot of time in here. I shouldn't be losing this time. Um, so uh, I have to thank you all for watching and um, oh, there's something in here that is interesting I ah, oh, what an interesting situation so I think oh yeah we are doing a bit for a player I didn't know so it, that this is my board my board directors uh, I think it's the president the chairman that is bidding for the players so he's bidding for this striker um, I should try to yeah I'm gonna get a, a scout report and I'm gonna go ask Felipe yeah I want a scout report of this player um, let me just save the game anyways I, I, I almost forgot to save the game so before we leave this is the third time already I think the third time I'm, I'm saying before we leave <laughs> but this time I'm really leaving are we, we are really um, I'm sorry I'm really finishing this video today um, so if you enjoyed the video leave a comment subscribe the channel it's really important that you subscribe the channel so you can um, receive in your email and um, and on your uh, YouTube channel page uh, all the news and uh, uh, games that I'm going to submit to this channel and um, I think that's it I mean you may leave a comment and also in the comment you can uh, um, tell me stuff you want me to do on the game like a player you'd like me to hire or maybe a player you'd like me to uh, sell um, stuff like that uh, advices are always welcome so that's it hope to see you uh, in the next video and um, have fun